Breaking news out of the NFL. The league office has concluded their investigation into offseason tampering, and the league will be docking the Atlanta Falcons a fifth-round pick in 2024 as part of their punishment. That inquiry has to do with the signings of Kirk Cousins and reportedly includes the recruitment of Darnell Mooney and Charlie Werner as well. The Falcons will be fined $250,000 for the violation with a separate $50,000 fine going to GM Jer J Terry Fontenot. Our Jonathan Jones reporting that Atlanta does not plan to appeal the NFL's decision. The Eagles, meanwhile, they are not being penalized. So we bring now in the man of the hour, Jonathan Jones, and the Eagles don't get taxed for their recruitment of Saquon Barkley. The Falcons do get taxed. How do we get one team being punished and one not? Okay, so we'll start with the fact that simply this was not the crime of the century, okay? Uh, this all happened during the legal tampering window. And there's something in the NFL, it's a, it's a funny sort of oxymoronic phrase, but we all understand that uh, player representation meets with teams while the player is under contract uh, in late February. It all happens at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. And then in mid-March, when we get to free agency, all of a sudden, as soon as you can sign, well, all of these complex contracts are all figured out, all right? So we all understand there's a tacit agreement amongst everyone in the NFL that some conversations take place. But you cannot be flagrant about it. And what happened with uh, the Philadelphia Eagles and Saquon Barkley and the New York Giants, there was a, maybe there was a misstep, a misspoken something by James Franklin, the Penn State head coach, uh, about certain contact that was had between the Eagles and Saquon Barkley, specifically general manager Howie Roseman. The NFL investigated that, found uh, no evidence that would rise to any sort of punishment. So that's taking care of the Eagles. Meanwhile, the Atlanta Falcons, they did not, the league did not find that there was anything wrong or impermissible with the Falcons' uh, recruitment of Kirk Cousins and Darnell Mooney and Charlie Werner, that there was no, oh, you were talking contracts when you shouldn't have. This was all related to travel logistical matters, I'm told. So just for a moment, those three guys, uh, Kirk Cousins has in-laws in the Atlanta area. Charlie Werner is a Georgia grad. Darnell Mooney is from nearby Alabama. And so as I understand it, while everything was on the up and up in terms of uh, them signing with the team in the legal tampering window, it was trying to work out, hey, when can I get to the building? When can I sign? When will this press conference happen? When, will, uh, when can I meet with the trainer? Stuff like that. So travel and logistical matters. And that is why you see just a fifth round pick in next year's draft. If you want to try to compare this, let's say, I think it was two years ago, the Miami Dolphins were docked a first round pick for tampering with Tom Brady. And Stephen Ross was suspended and fined uh, more than a million dollars, I believe. This isn't that. It's not about uh, tampering in terms of contract. It was about some logistical matters, and that is why you see just a fifth-round pick for the Atlanta Falcons. So what does an investigation into tampering look like? Because clearly there are different levels to it, and how does the league go about doing their investigation? Yeah, great question. And look, as that was told to me, it was actually a very intense investigation. Again, we're talking about something that I, I mentioned earlier is not the crime of the century. It's really, when we're talking about tampering, really talking about uh, the guy on the street corner that has something in the brown paper bag. And you don't take it out of the bag, you just keep it in the bag, and we all know what's in the bag. And so that's what is understood in the NFL. But for that sort of, let's call it a crime, what the NFL wound up doing was in both teams' facilities, they went in, confiscated employee phones and computers and laptops and hard drives. They went to employees' homes. This was an investigation that spanned months, dating back to really the start of free agency or at least the first week or so of free agency. So that's mid to late March, and now we're getting uh, this news in mid-June. So. This took a very, very long time to ultimately determine the Philadelphia Eagles really didn't do anything wrong. 
to NFL policies. And the Atlanta Falcons probably should have held off a couple of hours uh, before communicating with guys who were already in the Atlanta area for one reason or another. Uh, and so that's why we get uh, the fifth round pick for the Falcons. That's why you get a team fine of a quarter million dollars. And ultimately, uh, surely the Falcons have learned their lesson. And it's a lesson, of course, to the 31 other teams. Yeah, essentially just a little slap on the wrist for the Falcons as we continue on with the league year and everything. Our lead NFL insider, Mr. Jones, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.